Hi friends, I think today's topic will be of interest to many. I done some tests with a push-pull oscillator and remembered the instant heating soldering irons, which I did. Links are here and under video. These soldering irons are constructed on the basis of transformers wherein the secondary coil will have one or two turns of thick wire. And secondary coil is enclosed with a thinner wire, which became a soldering tip. Tip heated because of short circuit. These soldering irons are based on small-sized power transformers, but it isn't very convenient because of the size and weight. As I said, I have done some instant heating soldering irons, but on the basis of post-power supplies. They are more compact and lighter in weight, but they too are powered by the AC. Now I want to make a standalone soldering iron and to fit it with no more than two 18650 type lithium batteries, otherwise it will be uncomfortable to hold in your hand. But all known normal inverters are powered from 20 volts, except for one. This is legendary circuit of push-pull oscillator. If I will find a suitable field effect transistor, it will work even on one battery. Quickly drew a PCB. For compactness, I used SMD components. But in the rush, I forgot to inverse the PCB drawing. So I had to turn the transistors. I had no time to make the new mirrored PCB. I don't install stabilizers as in the conventional scheme, because I will use low voltage power supply. Later I regretted it. But let's continue in order. The circuit is loaded with a pulse transformer. The secondary winding is a thick copper wire which shorted with thinner wire. Short circuit recurrent with my case can be up to 100 amperes, which is limited because of the transformer and other components. The core could be from the electronic transformer. But this time I took a barrel shaped ferrite. Such ferrite can be found on the power cord of laptops and monitors. It is used to filter out interference. The primary winding consists of 6 turns and has tap from the middle. Both shoulder identical. It is wound with 6 wires of 0.5mm diameter each. I use multiple wires only for the convenience of winding. Ready transformer must have phasing as shown in the video. Here formed midpoint to which come plus from the power supply via a choke. The compact core for the choke was taken from the video cardboard. It is wound with three wires of 0.5mm diameter each. The number of turns is 13. It is possible to take a larger ring, and the number of windings can be from 0 to 15. Transistors are also taken from the video cardboard. They are good because they have a low response voltage, about 2 to 2.5 volts. Originally, the circuit was intended to be powered by one lithium battery. But then, in the pursuit of more output, I fed it from two batteries connected in series and transistors were instantly burned. Perhaps Zeners could save the situation. But in this case, it is necessary also to increase the resistance of the limiting resistors. Then suddenly help fake Chinese RFZ44 transistors. I buy them regularly, but in 70% of cases they are false. The device showed what the, their operating voltage of about 2 volts. Just what we need. The most interesting is that they worked fine also with two batteries connected in series, and not heated. In general, everything worked as it was intended, but the final assembly I will show in the next video. Link to archive is under video. It is includes mirrored PCB. There are also links to modules of push-pull oscillators. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day with you was Akakasyan.